So here's a new video on chambering a barrel. Right now I'm chambering a uh, bark line barrel for a bat mover action. This is bench rest shooting, six PPC, so it's a pretty small cartridge. The, I've indicated the barrel in between the inboard spider and the outboard spider here. Um, so we're about to first uh, feature is to cut the tenon then thread, then do the cone, and so on. So let's see how this goes. Mm. It's gonna get a little noisy because I'm gonna turn the, I'm gonna turn the, the oil on. Here we're doing a finishing pass on the tenon. Now we're going to rough draw the barrel so that we can later bore the chamber to size with a boring bar. And here we're using a small boring bar to profile out the 30 degree cone um, for the bolt nose. So you can see this is the roughing uh, cycle and then we'll do a finishing cycle just now. Here we're coming in with an 18 TPI full profile insert. Running it a little bit slow, you can see the chip is uh, pretty stringy, but uh, it does uh, end up with a really beautiful thread. Testing quickly with a go gauge to make sure the threads are good. Here we are at the end of the boring cycle to bore the chamber out to just under size. So at this point we've got a uh, tenon threaded uh, and a uh, perfect bore. Uh, obviously concentric with the spindle and all we need to do is run a reamer in now for you know, a couple hundred thousands to clean everything up and create the lead and and that's it uh, the project's finished so it's pretty quick um this really is such a nice lathe because i can you know run everything cnc and without even touching a button i can change this to you know, to, to manual. And you still got these old, cool, you know, hard inch handles. They've got to be the best feeling ever. Uh, they're obviously not manual anymore. This is all connected to, to servo motors, but the, they feel just absolutely uh, beautiful. And yeah, so great, uh, great lathe. I'm actually going to buy a second one now. So this is how much I love this thing. So thanks for watching.